To find out more about the aviary recently built in our school, we interviewed Mr. Blundell, the ornithology teacher, and senior Grace Kunzler, who helped paint the aviary walls. All right, so people ask us, why would you have an aviary in a high school? And I'm not sure who came up with the idea, but a lot of my students in the ornithology program wanted to have birds that were captive, that they could work with and study, take care of, feed, clean cages. And rather than just having cage after cage in the classroom, the idea came up, why not just have an aviary in the school? I thought, well, why not? It's a good idea. So we asked, and thankfully the administration loved the idea. They said, this is great, let's do it. So our aviary is designed to provide not only a healthy environment, but a very safe environment for these birds. So a lot of the birds that you'll see here are unable to survive in the wild. One, they could not live in our climate. At this time of year, they would freeze and die overnight. But even with that, they're unable to fly properly, hunt for food. They don't have any of those wild instincts. So some of these, all these birds that you're gonna find here at Farmington are in a much better place here than they were before we got them, or certainly better than if they were to be released somewhere. We have a lot of cool birds in the aviary. It's going to be interesting for me to see what exhibit people like the most because they're all different, uh, feature different birds from around the world. So our South America exhibit currently has our pair of macaws. These are red and green uh, macaws as well as our sun conure um, that come from South America. Our Africa exhibit features a lot of the canaries and finches and smaller birds. And our Australia exhibit features a lot of rosellas and grass keats, which are a type of sort of medium-sized colorful parrots that we find. All of these birds came to us though from people who wanted to provide them with a better home and felt that our aviary would be that place for them. Um, I decided to paint the aviary because I've been in ornithology ever since I went to high school here and um, I've always loved art. And I went to Africa this summer so Blundell said that I could paint my exhibit Africa themed I guess. So I was able to use some pictures that I actually took there and it was really awesome to like bring it from there to here. Um, and I just have always loved animals, so it's been really fun combining art and ornithology together. Um, it took me a really long time to paint this, and there was two other artists who helped us, or who helped paint the aviary. It took us all a really long time. We started in the summer, and we did some during the summertime, and then we went into the school year for a couple months, and we would just come in after school, or in the mornings, or whenever we really could, and just paint for a few hours, and then it just slowly built up until we were done. This is Ashley and Sage with Nick's News.